believe people that choose nursing, they have a passion for helping people. If you're going to be a nurse, you have to want to put other people before yourself. We see the patients at their best and we see them at their worst. So people have to be empathetic to go into the nursing profession. The nurses are problem solvers and we've all always been known for that. Nurses aim to be advocates for others at just about every level. You're expected to work long hours and be on your feet uh, for a majority of those hours. Um, so you definitely have to be hardworking and committed. At the end of the day, I think we all sort of have the same motivation to provide care for patients and have that humanistic approach. Nurses are selfless, caring, and always willing to put their patients first. We knew this crisis was going to be a nursing crisis. We knew that nurses were going to be on the front lines. So when COVID hit, it felt like everything changed almost overnight. But the nurse practitioner group pivoted by transforming ourselves into a cold cough and fever clinic. Initially, it was just providing support to patients, calling patients at home following up on the patients that were COVID positive, seeing how they were doing. We had to think on our feet quickly. We had to really just stick to the core essentials that was needed. It was horrifying seeing how COVID was damaging people's lives. Not only the people that it afflicted, but the nursing staff, the physicians, the respiratory therapists, and everyone else within the, the healthcare system. It was a devastating experience, but also I learned so much. It was definitely the hardest professional and personal time of my life to date. So once you go through that, you sort of have that reflection of being able to step into a patient's room and assist them in any way that they need. And we had this unique experience where they couldn't have visitors. You know, you always want to make a relationship with your patient, but this was personal on another level. There was a couple instances of just having the simple act of holding a patient's hand and really let them know that whatever happens, you'll be there with them the whole entire time. Unfortunately, all the clinicals were canceled and the students were unable to be within the hospital. We had to quickly come up with the curriculum, quickly come up with the equipment, find out where we're going to do the training. You know, you're hearing about these shortages in hospitals and a lot of us were just sort of sitting around like, okay, well, we just finished, we're almost going to graduate. Why can't we go in and help? Columbia um, offered us the opportunity to work as nurse technicians. Within three days, we heard from our students. They wanted to be part of the solution. They wanted to continue in the clinical areas. Immediately, we were on the phone, the leadership of the School of Nursing and New York Presbyterian, to try to see how we could work together. I think like 90 of us signed up. It felt like an overwhelming number. When the students stepped into the hospital, they were able to see the importance to be strategic, to be human, and to work with other colleagues, to work across professions, to support each other. The Columbia nursing students supported one another through the circles of care that were facilitated through the academic clinical partnership. Because we couldn't meet in person, we would set up FaceTime calls, text each other regularly, just to make sure that everyone was doing okay. I'm very proud that 2020 is the year of the nurse and the midwife. I think it's very important to recognize the integral role that nurses have in delivering healthcare to our patients. People respect the profession of nursing. They understand the huge role that we played in this pandemic. You could see that every night at, was it six o'clock when everybody was clawing out their window and, and banging on pots and pans. I definitely did tear up a few of those uh, seven o'clock clapping moments. It just reminded me that people really appreciated the work that I was doing. We've been in the spotlight, you know, there's this heightened awareness that nurses, wow, like they really are on the front lines. I am most proud of every nurse that has gotten up, been scared to death, gotten dressed, and gone to work. They showed up every day to help get America through this pandemic. Thank you to all the 
healthcare workers, my colleagues, the nurses, the doctors. We understand the work that you do uh, each and every single day through each and every patient interaction. And thank you so much. I can't even express the pride I have and the privilege I have being part of this team. They are just incredible.